All right, it is MTG Next Door, the second sloppiest channel on the internet doing magic. Uh, we would like to welcome Mr. A back from his terrible surgical adventure. Uh, we are doing Jank Tribal tonight. As y'all know, we like to get crazy. So we all picked a, um, a tribal. The rules were you couldn't have any more than five of non-tribal creature spells in your deck. Mr. A and um, uh, uh, Stitch took it the, to the extra level. They've got uh, zero. I've got two non-angels. Oh, no, 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 no. I have four. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. But they all do things within the tribe, like they create birds or they make birds better. Fair so enough. I tried to keep it. Well, Doc, there is that one card I sent you a picture of that we won't talk about unless it comes Oh, yeah, out. That, that, that's it. That was a good one. All but right. Other than so, that. <laughs> in the upper left, you've got Mr. A playing Progenitus and Hail Hydra. He is doing Hydra Tribal. In the upper right, you've got Doc doing Avicen, Angel of Hope, Mono White Angel Tribal. And at the bottom, you've got Stitch doing Kangi, Airy Keeper, Bird Tribal. Uh, Stitch won the roll. I don't think anybody's mulligan. So, um, I, I looked the gatherer up on this. This is card has been errated. Oh yeah. To be a, a bird wizard. So just telling you, there's a lot of old cards in here. Every once in a while, I'm going to have to give you all the gatherer take on them because they have all been updated. Fair enough. So bird wizard. I just wanted to make sure you knew I was not like trying to like start off with my commander, not even being the right tribe. All right, we're, what are we, 25? Oh, it's 40, right? Yeah. All right. I don't I will... know if mine's been errated. He still has protection from everything. Right. I'll draw. Uh, <clears throat> I'll play Sea of Clouds. Oh, nice. ETB unless you have two or more opponents. And I will go into a Cloudfin Raptor, the birds. Flying, evolve, when a creature enters a battlefield under your control, if that creature has greater power toughness than this creature, put a 1-1 counter on this thing. Pass. Who's playing second, Mr. Pink? I think so. I got that. Yeah, I got, I got him as second. Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got Pink as second, Doc as third. Yeah, that's how I got it. Oh, okay. I'll be confused. My camera's not there. Um... <laughs> We'll start with an island and pass. Woo! Draw. Oh, all right. I just dropped, drew a cool one. Oh. Okay. I pinned it. That's why it went weird. Oh. All right. I'm going to play a Funky Plains. I'm going to tap it to play a Speaker of the Heavens. It is a 1 1 Vigilance Lifelink. And I can tap this guy to create a 4 4 White Angel Creature token with flying. But only if I have seven more life than my starting life total, and only any time I can cast a sorcery. Yeah, Doc, you think the camera is way further to the left than it actually is. Yeah, clearly, clearly. All right, pass. Is that that dude's flying? No, nope, just vigilance and lifelink. And it's a zero three? A one one. Wow, I'm really paying attention here. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Okay, so we'll draw. We'll draw into that thing. That's cool. Uh <clears throat> I will play Azorius Chancery and pass. Play Command Tower. Woo! Woo I'm going to play a <clears throat> Talisman of Impulse. <laughs> it's a red green pain artifact. You got it. And then I will tap it. For the smallest Hydra in the game, the Universal Automation. It's a 1-1 one, one artifact Hydra. Is that really Hail Hydra. It says Shapeshifter. Automation. It says autom Autonomous. Okay, sorry. Because <laughs> what I do is automation. <laughs> and it doesn't look anything like that. <clears throat> yes. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Are we, are we all supposed to respond? Is there is this a call response type thing? No, this is just what I have to do every time I play a Hydra. I'm going to probably do it anyway. Yeah, fair enough. Fair. All right, I'm going to play a Plains. I am. Yep, 
considering life choices. Um, I'm going to send my uh, speaker the heavens at Stitch. It's a 1-1 one, one lifelinker. Why would you do that? Because uh, his is a 1-1 one, one and yours is a 0-1. Whatever. And that's all I got. Pass turn. Draw. Go into that. Uh, I'll play my Sea of Clouds again. Um, well, I only got one choice. So I will play Warden of Evos. I think it's called Evos. Ev Evos Isle. It's a bird wizard, 2-2, two, two, flying. Creature spells with flying you cast cost one less to cast. So he's bigger than him, so he gets a counter. So now he's a 1-2. One, two, huh? I like the look of that automaton. Will it block me? Or do I want a blocker for your, your one, one dude? Oh, I got a blocker for your you one, guys? one dude. Oh, he can't block me. He's on the ground. That's right. All right, why not? I'll come in for one in the air to uh, Mr. Pink. And pass after Alrighty. that. All righty, I'm gonna play a real query tower. And then I will pay one, two for a talisman of resilience, which is a black green pingy artifact. I will. Okay, one to cycle an Ash Barons. I'm going to go get. You know, he's going to get to 10 really quick there. Uh, yeah, I was actually just about to say, you know, he's ramping real good right now. I mean, when he casts Progenitus, I'm going to counter it. But I think it's going to come quicker forced. than not. I'm going to put the forest in my hand, and then I'm going to pay a white for an artifact or enchantment card, reveal it, it's Miari's Wake, and I will put that on top of my deck. Yeah, you see what he's doing there? Yeah, definitely. And I will pass the turn. I mean, on the one hand, I'm really impressed because I've not ever seen him do anything like this. On the other hand, I'm also like clenching you've my never seen him. You've never seen him ramp like this? It's every game. Well, not like this quickly. This is pretty impressive, even for him. My go. I have a pass. Drawing. Okay. Let's play something that's never been played before. So I'm going to play an idyllic grange. So it enter field, the battlefield tapped, unless I control three or more planes. With that, I got three planes. So when it enters the battlefield untapped, I put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. There we go. Then I'm going to pay white and one. I'm going to cash, cast an Ashes of the Abhor. Oh, over to the right. Over oh, to the right and down. There we go. There we go. All right. So it used to be the way I had my previous setup. That's where it was. So it's just like muscle memory now. That's All right, funny. Ashes of the Abhorrent. Players can't cast spells from graveyards or activate abilities of cards in graveyards. Whenever a creature dies, you gain one life. All right. Your, thing, your Hydra's a 1-1, one, one, right, Mr. A? Oh, yeah. Okay. Coming at you with a 2-2 two, two Vigilance Lifelink. Yeah, I think we need to just beat on him. Let's take beat on him while we can. Yeah. All right. Pass turn. Draw. Huh. I'll play a polluted delta and pitch it for one life. And go get a uh, what do you call it? A island. Do I care at this point if it, no, I really don't care if it's a good island or a bad island. 
Nobody's playing blue, so it's not going to hurt me to put out a special island. Hold, please. Yeah, I'm just going to play a regular island. Why bother with fetch or with a... Uh... All right, and now... All right, Doc, I'm gonna try slowing down a little bit here. If this helps, land equilibrium. So your opponent controls at least as much land as you do. Here, she must sacrifice a land for each land he, he or she puts into play. Yeah, but so I've got three oh. land. If you have more, if you have three or more land, if you play a land, you have to then sacrifice a land. Clear? Yep. Okay. And then I'll fly in for three at Mr. Pink. We're cool, right, Doc? <laughs> we are for now. Yeah. All right, pass. Hmm. Hmm. Green and green, white, one, two, three. I got to pay a life. I will cast Mary's Wake. Creatures you control get one, one. I will not play a land. Read the rest of the card, Mr. Pink. Whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana of your mana, or I get an extra mana for any, whatever type it produced. And creatures I control get 1-1. One, one. So I have a 2-2 two, two now. Last turn. So enchantment destruction in white. I think you can do it. Oh, it's in here. Yeah, I've got some, but that needs to go. The first part of that is not why people play that card. Yeah, no, I'm well aware. Of why That's why I asked him to read the rest of it, just in case. <laughs> no. He forgot. No. I don't know how much of his skull they drilled out two weeks ago, but. Thinks maybe we, he might be able to slip that by us. Eat an apple, get some strength. It, here's the thing: I'm well aware of how Marari's wake. Uh, right. Uh, work. No, I've played it. Yeah, they, they. Yeah, and they play it on uh, game nights all the time. Well, y'all haven't seen my slippers deck in a long time, but it's in there. <laughs> all right. I like that he played the original too. That's class. Yeah, it is classic. Very classic. All right. Wait, did you play a land doc? Oh, crap. I did, didn't I? Sorry. If you do, you got to sacrifice one. Well, then I guess I'm just not going to sacrifice one. Yeah, I... Uh... This is going to sound lame, but can I hit you for two this turn and then two next turn? And then I what? promise I won't hit you after that for a minute. Why? So you can create angels? Yes. I mean, as long as they're not going to be swinging at me, I think we've got maybe he's going to figure out. I mean, he might have progenitus now. Did you look at his board? Yeah, no, I think he might actually. One, two, hey. three, four, five, six. He's got eight right now. Yeah. Progenitus is what? I don't even see. Where is progenitus? Why isn't it on the board? It, because his board never can hold it all. Oh, right. It pretends so, it's 10, right? Yeah, two of each color. I can't cast it. Well, he could, yeah, you can't. You, he's got two, two island, two anything from his command tower, and then one from each of the, talis, the talismans, yeah. and then colorless from ruptured spy. Yeah, but the, yeah, it doesn't help him much. Okay. So, color. I mean, yeah. Can I just tap you? Because then I can really start hitting harder. Uh, yeah, if we're going to be cool for now. Because I'm, I'm spending all my time swinging at him. Yeah, I, and then I, once I make an angel, I'll send it. I'll co it. It's, dude, Doc, it's only 8.07, and we're referring to our friend here as him. And, <laughs> you know, talking about how he needs to go. That only took 15 minutes. I know, right? Damn spikes. Hey, man. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, swing, Doc. All right, two coming at you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to block. Cool. I go up. Five. Uh, second main, nothing to do. Pass turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Huh. What do we do here? So the danger is if I play a land, he gets to go to four lands. That's dangerous, isn't it? Well, I mean, here's the thing. Kind of depends like on what he does, but I, I have I have some answers. Okay, because I'm gonna I, I have to dig for answers right now. I so I can't I, I can take care of some things, but not others. All right. So if I were you, I would concentrate on blowing the rocks up if you can. I can't. Not right okay. now. Okay. So I can, I can stop rocks from happening? Or is it more important just to pound on him? I mean, as a, as a Timmy, I'm always a big fan of face pounding. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that too. So I would say put your land out there and let's just go. He's got seven mana like yeah, next turn. It, no, I'm not going to put my land out there because seven next turn, nine turn after that. Yeah, yeah. Look, it, it's going to take longer because he's just got the uh, isolated uh, tower. All right. Well, I'm going to keep okay. an eye on him then. So I'll, I'll come into Mr. Pink for three. Here's the thing. I need four to maybe fix problems you need me to play land i need i need four out there to be able to like fix problems but he gets he gets four out there he goes to nine i know it's okay it's okay am i gonna trust you hey, your call on this but like all right I may regret this. Ah, oh, God, you're killing me, Doc. I mean, you're uh, all entirely. You got to do what you got to do. Play, I know. Play, play, your, play your board, play your game. I just, uh, I mean, I'm at four mana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it one more turn and pass. All right. I, I just, I yeah, just I need one more turn because my my hands iffy. Uh, I'm gonna tap out for uh, three, six, eight. We gotta use pay a life for an apocalypse hydra. Hey, hail hydra! Hail hydra! Can you read that? Apocalypse, apocalypse hydra into the battlefield with X one one counters. X is six. If X is five or more, it enters the battlefield with an additional X one one counters on it. Okay, I'm going to react to that. When why did you have to pay a life? Because I needed a green. Because oh. I don't have enough colors. What yeah, you going to do? That. So you get to draw two cards at the beginning of your next turn's upkeep, uh, beginning of Doc's upkeep, and then I get to draw a card at the beginning of Doc's upkeep, but the spell's countered. Okay. I'll pass. Draw two cards. Yep, I get one. Well... We could. Well, we could, but it would cost us a creature a turn. What was that? It would cost us a creature a turn. Somebody would be, be getting pounded on that thing every time. Oh. All right, well, move to combat. Come in and choose Stitch for two. And we, you need two more life to do this? Nope, that's it. All right, I'm trusting you. I appreciate that. 
Second main phase. Tapping speaker of heaven. Angel token. Yeah. Right. Pass turn. I'm tapping. Drawing. Thinking about life choices, as DOC would say. Uh, yeah, I got to do this, I guess. And Doc, you still need that one land. I mean, it would be really helpful if you don't. Uh, I wish you. I, I, I you wish you could you use. You don't play counter spells like I do, so I don't suspect you pack like seven in. <laughs> you didn't get my text. <laughs> I mean, so I know you said six that, in there, but, but I just. Don't I, feel I just don't feel like you have the prerequisite level of self-hatred to play like blue like you're really mean. Well, I don't. And I don't care about winning so much. So, uh, uh, yeah, I need to draw some cards. And it's gonna, that's the long game there. Uh, so I'll play uh, Avon. It's a bird. Avon Wind Guide. It's a 2-3 Flying Vigilance. Creature tokens you control are Flying and Vigilance. And then I can embalm it so I can exile from a graveyard and get the, the zombie bird warrior token equivalent of it. So uh, you only uh, paid three mana for that. That's a four mana cost. Uh because of this dude. Creature oh, spells are flying cost one less. Yeah, my bad. No, it's cool. I didn't announce it. I I, I don't need to be that way. So uh, he's got a, a power and toughness greater than uh, Clouds and Raptor. So he goes to two, three, and we'll combat it up and send for it, Mr. Pink, while we still can before he makes a scream bloody murder. I will pass. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't commit to counter spells like you do, Doc, but. Uh, I did try to find the zero casting cost counter spell but, that makes you lose the game. I'm casting a whip tongue hydra. Okay, oh, there it is. It's a four four with reach. When whip tongue hydra enters the battlefield, destroy all creatures with flying. <laughs> I count four. Boo! Uh -huh. For each creature with flying destroyed this way, put a one one counter onto the hydra. Hail Hydra. Right. Eat I'm a going for two at Doc. Fair enough. Now, if you had played an extra land per turn, I could handle this now. Because you did. I Don't can't. blame me. I am definitely blaming you. I'll play an extra land next turn, damn it. Uh, I'll play two turn. Land. And, I, and now you got hit for four for nothing. Because then he just took me down. No, you can make another one. Can't you? No, because he just took me down, so I have... Uh, I took two than... of his life off, so he doesn't have enough to do it. Because he, he's a really good player, and he just owned us in that move. I don't know if you should give him that big of a head. He's just a spike, dude. Talk, talk about him like he's not here, because he played Progenitus. Yeah. White, white. Make him not happy to be back. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. So I actually... No. Uh, how many creatures died last turn? Four? Four. I gained four, four. life from Ashes of the Abhorrent. There you go. Learn, oh, play play your card. You Make an angel. So he swings at me for no good reason. Wait, 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 there is a good reason. Isn't he down below 30 life now? Is I'm it a 25? 25. Come on, we can do this. One, two, three. Emancipation Angel flying. When Emancipation Angel enters the battlefield, uh, return a permanent you control to its owner's hand. Uh, actually, can I do this in a different, slightly different order? There's a two on there, Doc. Yeah, no. Actually, no. It's just one, one, one counter. I'd, I'd put it on wrong. I was telling you guys the right thing, but I was doing the wrong thing. So I'm going to tap him. Playing Angel. One, two, three. Emancipation Angel. Bounce into my hand. Crikey. Um, 
pass turn and I'm over hand size, so I've got a discard. You That's still fine. need me to play a land? Yes, badly. Okay. I, I, obviously, I'm just your toady as usual here. Looks like I got to discard a planes. All right. Pass. I'll play Marsh Flats for Doc because he's a whiny, whiny baby. Let's see what's coming. Are we going to get game changers? Oh, yeah, I was. No, I wasn't. Uh, what do I want here? Planes of some sort, I guess. And do I have any planes that are super special? No. Damn, I had mana drain coming in like four turns. That would be nice for Progenitus. So I really need to shuffle my deck now. <laughs> there you go, Doc. Four lands. Thank you. I hope you I hope you're proud of whatever he does after I pass the turn, which I haven't yet. I mean, I like how you're making this my fault. It's always somebody else's fault. Yeah, okay. How long have we been playing cards together? It's never my fault. You know, my, deck's not to put, my deck's not this strong. <laughs> Whatever. Progenitus. Which is uh, it all the battlefield? <laughs> Let me be afraid of the 10 10 that costs five different colors. Whatever. What do we got? We got. I need a blocker for what is your. What's the power and toughness on your monster Hydra? 8 8. Totally knew that was in his deck, given that we're playing Flying Tribals. I put all the Hydras that I own, and then I had to go get the Shapeshifters. <laughs> I don't own a lot of Hydras, because I didn't put anything that wasn't technically a Hydra in my deck. I, mean, I went full Hydra. Hail Hydra. I guess I need a blocker. Uh, Murmuring Mystic, 1-5, Human Wizard. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a bird, illusion, creature, token of flying. Oh, okay. Makes a bird. Yep, makes birds. Pass. Well, oh. hold on. Yeah, pass. Hope you're happy, Doc. We'll play a plateau. Do two green, and then two other. Cast the Chameleon Colossus. Yep. Chameleon Colossus is Changeling, so it's also a Hydra. That's pro black. I can pay two and two green into it, and it doubles its power and toughness. The first card I ever received in the mail on Puka. That very card. That's wow. how the problem happened. I'm going to send an 8-8 eight, eight and a dock. All right. Is it, it doesn't have trample, does it? Nope. Cool. I'll block with my 3-3. Three, three. Okay. I don't know whether to be insulted that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an obvious threat to you, but okay. Uh. I think he knows what I'm about to do. All right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Wrath, right? Uh, well, first, I'm going to go to combat. And I guess I'm guessing you need four lands for Wrath. I'm going to send four at Mr. A. Okay. And then I'm going to play white, white. One, two. That is exactly the correct number. Look at that pretty seventh edition wrath. Oh man, man, I've never seen that. Look at that, man, that is one ratty card, dude. Oh dude, cause you know, wrath is like super expensive. So this was like seven bucks to still be like, like literally damaged moderately here. Like it's hit with like- so, though, I mean, there's, I mean, for a set that was underprinted, that's, that's not a bad price. No, no. So Angel is dead. Was uh, that how many, how many creatures died? Uh, I had one die. I had three. So that is I gained four life there. So there we are. Fast turn. 
So I got I got to credit you, Mr. A. You were the uh, uh, thought process behind this deck because you were like, that's it. I'm going to make a deck where everything dies. And that is actually the purpose of this deck. Like there, there's a lot of destruction in here. I just have only drew that one. I haven't gotten to some of the other better destructions. You don't need any more land, right? <laughs> Not for now. Uh, okay. I'm going to cast Enlightened Tutor. Artifact or Enchantment. And that is just because I don't, I don't know. I just want to look through my deck and yes, I will shuffle the shit out of it when I'm done here. I'm looking through my deck just so that y'all can know I'm not like juking and jiving. I, there are some enchantments in this deck, right? Artifacts. Well, spell ring might be nice. That would help. That's good. I could do that. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Or do I want scroll rack? Oh boy, that has some sweet stuff coming. Okay, I got it. Taking time because I did look through my entire deck here. Let me make it seem as if being fair, do two more shuffles. You've searched your deck like four or five times already. I, do what? I, you've searched your deck like four or five times. I've, I've not looked at my deck at all. Well, I guess that makes you better than me. I guess it does. <laughs> okay. All right. I got to do it. I'll reveal it. Yep, there we go. Yeah, let's just see if I could beat. I need one turn. I need a blocker and one turn. One, two, three, four. I need two turns. Hey, planes. Actually, let's do this this way. Foot foot boots. Can you feel the final solution happening? Pass. Did I, wait, did I lose a connection? Oh, no, I see that. No, no. We're all just sitting here in stunned silence as we saw Dovescape flashed at us. There will be two more turns. <laughs> well, those watching at home, Dovescape is one of Stitch's favorite cards. <laughs> it's in my top three. <laughs> the wailing and gnashing of the rest of the table. <laughs> Dovescape. Okay. Um, Worst. Teferi's puzzle box. <laughs> I revel in the chaos that you can make in this game. I want to. Um, Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to clan defiance. No idea what that is. There's not enough targets on the board, so I'm just making this giant fireball. Can you read it? Choose one or more. Clan defiance deals dex damage to target creature with flying. X damage to target creature. Damage to target player. I'm going to do 12 damage to Doc. Ouch! Wow. He really is not. He's not afraid of the dovescape. Man. All right. I will pass the turn. Okay, Doc. What's your life total? I mean, I'm still at 41 because I. Oh, okay. Okay. 
I, I am sorry, Mr. Pink. Yes, that's probably the right thing to do because if he pe- plays a fellow to our sovereign, game over. But if is that one of your two non-angels, a fellow to our sovereign? No. All, all of my like non-angels are helpy uh, angel helpers. Yeah. I mean, he has a it, dude who can just start what, making lots of four four flying angels. Yeah, that's he knew exactly what was about to happen. I was about to play my speaker of the heavens again, and then I was going to make a four, a four four flying angel every turn after that. It's not enough. Wasn't wasn't there? An, isn't there an enchantment that makes angels without you having to do anything? Yeah, yeah, that's in here. Okay. <laughs> I because yeah, I remember yeah. playing that back in standard and conflux. I can't remember yeah. what it's called. You, you got a uh, if at every end step, if you gain four or more life that turn, you make an angel. Right, right. Yeah, I remember playing that in standard. All right. Hold on to your butts. You're about to see a portal card. Yes, that's what this is about. Exactly. White and one. I think this is what I've got to do here. I love that you bought a portal card. Yeah, we're going to play Gift of Estates. I've been meaning to buy this for like a thousand years. And then this turned out to be like the sort of like cheapest with the best art that I like the most. So yeah, that's sweet. If your opponent has more lands in play than you do, search your deck for up to three planes and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. Wow, that is like a land tax that actually works. So I didn't play my land for the turn, and now I'm doing that. That's a land tax that works, because so many times you put land tax into play and it's dead. What's that called again? Uh, Gift of Estates. Okay, because I'm going to go buy one right now. <laughs> they are not 100% cheap. Because it's right. not been reprinted in like a bajillion years. I want the portal one. I see that there's a commander one, but I did not buy those commander decks. So. Yeah. No, no, the portal one kind of has the coolest art, in my opinion. Yeah, I want, the, I always, if I'd given a choice of buying portal cards or reprints, portal. Yeah, I mean, if, I, if I'm going to buy, I always go for art, you know, all of the things being equal. And the way it was going to work, all the places that had a cheaper one on TCG Player were charging like ridiculous shipping. And so if I went with this one, somehow I got free shipping with it. And so it turned out to actually be kind of like the most cost efficient option. Yeah, it's like six bucks. That's not cheap for, for, for an instant. It's a sorcery, actually. Oh, it's a sorcery? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, glasses. Yeah, that is going in my cart right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that we'll play something and we're all like, hold on, what is that called again? <laughs> right. All right, putting that on my buy list. You know who started that? The first person was Deuce when he played Torment of Hellfire and I went home and bought five of them. I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't need five of them, but I, I think I have to have five of them. Oh, no, no, wait. What was the one that uh, Burnsy played that tapped all of an opponent's creatures and they didn't untap again the next turn? Sleep. Oh yeah. Sleep. Burns sleep. played like, sleep. <laughs> oh my god. And I went home and I didn't have any. And I was like, this is the greatest card to to beat the hell out of one person. Yeah. Uh playing a speaker of the heavens. And I am gonna pass turn. All right. You tap, upkeep, draw. I wonder what that is. Oh man, that's spicy. Huh, what to do here? Pink's tapped out. I don't think there's any counter spells in white, is there? Are there? There's one. Oh, is there? And if if there is one, he's found it and is playing it. I'll play a uh, planes. I'll cast uh, my commander for seven, which means it gets one counter on it. And I'll put the boots on him. Oh, wait, I can't, can I? I don't have enough. Huh, that changes things. One, two, three. Don't kick it and put the boots on. 
I need him kicked. I was going to say, I think the point is to kick him. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, well, then I have to back that up, I guess. I think I have. Ah. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something different. That's rough. Deathscape. Sorry for the uninitiated. Whenever a player plays a non-creature spell, counter that spell. The player puts X 1-1 one, one white blue bird creature tokens with flying into play, where X is the spell's converted mana cost. What's the one thing that removes this? Oh, yeah. Nothing. There's some elves that take care of it. <laughs> what do elves do? Yeah, there's elves that have EDB effects that'll kill it. Oh, really? I'm sure yep. you're playing elves then, right? I'm playing hydras. Okay. Didn't Pass. I explain this? I'm playing hydras. Yes. All right, medicine man. Go ahead. Well, at least we get to play our lands. Play planes. I mean, up to six lands. If you go over six lands, you got to sack one. Got to do something about Marge work, wake there, Doc. I like, how, I like how you cast doves. Well, okay, you tell me. How am I going to fix that now? You just made it so I can't cast instants or sorcerers. Where, did you lose your sense of humor? He just yeah, cast progenitus. How did show us how you did it? Come on, I want to see. I want to see the math. Five different color lands: white, blue, green, red, black. Double. There you go. There you are. Ten, ten. Protection from everything. Merry Christmas. Yep. <laughs> Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Pass. You know what the thing about Progenesis is? You can't put swift foot boots on him. Right. So. All right. But it's all, all really hard to target. True. Well, that's fun at least. One, two, three, four, five. We are going to play Lyra Dawnbringer. She is a five, five angel. Uh, flying, first strike, lifelink. Other, cre other angels you control get plus one, plus one, and have lifelink. All right. Well, I guess I got a block progenitus, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Uh, not do anything with. Uh, <laughs> No, you know what? I think I will. Just because you cast Dove Gabe, I'm going to send one at Stitch. Why hasten my demise just because you hate one card? No, uh, I also gain life because I'm going to need it if I'm going to have any chance of pulling a win out of here, out of this. Oh. Is, are you done? Yes, I'm done. Pass turn. You know, I care more about the crazy than the win, right? I'm well aware of that. <laughs> but you also like to win. Uh, I don't mind winning, but when we're doing this kind of thing, the, the jank anything, I like the crazy. I am making an absolutely batshit insane deck soon. It's going to be EDH. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, so we can't block Progenitus, right? He's got pro everything. Oh, you can't block him, huh? Yeah, Correct. so. No, you cannot. So we have to kill him quick, and he's he doesn't have reach, right? No. So Doc, we actually, we just have to kill him quicker than he can kill us, one of us. I, I need you to drop land. Okay. Uh, uh, Since so there's now three, four, five, six, seven lands out. Is that good? No, I need eight, but yeah. <laughs> you need eight. I need eight, but that's fine. 
Okay. Huh. Well, I got a dead card in my hand. I didn't, you know, I love the artwork on this thing, but like it's, you know, if I just thought about what it was actually doing, I would have never played it. Uh, okay, I will tap out for eight. Play the old Commandy Andy. Gets uh, two feather counters on it. And I'll put the boots on them. That you were able to play Progenitus. What's that? I'm also just really impressed that he was able to play Progenitus. I mean, it's a little easier than this in this format than a limited format, right? Or the standard yeah. or the modern. Because, I mean, I, how many rocks are in your deck, Mr. Pink? Mana rocks? Mm hmm. Seven. <coughs> Far seek, cultivate, explore, all of the above. No. Cultivate and Kodama's Reach. That's it. That's it? Man. Well, then you're less of, you're less of a dick than I would have been. <coughs> I, have, I, have, um, I have 10 fetches. <laughs> And it's all crafted around green. So if you look at my mana rocks, they're all green and something. Well, Doc, it, you know, Hydra. I don't know if he's going to let your life go much above 40 since he doesn't want you making angels. Yeah. Um, so the way I look at it, between us, we have seven turns to deal with this thing. I have a temple of the false god. I'm going to... Attack Doc for 10. Cool. That's commander damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not going to last very long. I only have 21 life. You're going to fly through me. Now, I was going to say, like, I just need that other one, and then I can get him through the air with a lot. One, two, three. I'm going to cast a mirror entity. Hail Hydra. Once again, it's a shapeshifter because I don't have a lot of other options. And then, what does Progenitus become next turn when he when he does his thing? Twenty twenty. Uh, creatures you control become XX and gain all creature types until end of turn. Yeah, that's in my deck too. So pass the turn. X XX is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's going to be 14 14. So someone dies next turn, Doc. It's your fault, too. Cool. Because you didn't stop me from dovescaping. <laughs> I actually was about to. I have... <laughs> so, in case you guys were, well, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. Just, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do a dissection afterward. I'll go get an Oathbreaker deck. We could do a quick Oathbreaker game, too. Yeah. So, uh, Seraph Sanctuary. I don't have any Oathbreaker. All I have is like a really crappy. We were going to do a, a backup. Um, just use your Commander Legends and have an uncommon Commander and whatever card you had. Wasn't that one of the things we were going to do? I, I don't know about that. Do, I thought we were going to do some Commander Legends uncommon, but mine's not put together yet. It's like it's like a quarter of the way. Yeah. There. All right. Well, we can discuss after. What do we got here? Seraph Sanctuary? Seraph Sanctuary enters the battlefield, gain a life. Okay. Whenever an angel enters the battlefield under your control, gain a life. So gain I life, gain life. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I got to just do this now. Uh, swinging at Mr. A for five through the air. Man, 16. And which progenitor is going to be next turn? Are you going to kill me next turn? I don't know. It depends on what I draw. Yeah, no, it, he can make it 14-14 at the moment. Yeah. All right, pass. Plus, uh, so be a 24-24 unblockable. I only need to do 11 with him to kill him. Oh, so then it's my, then it's my end of game next turn. So I don't know. You can cast... Not quick enough.
I'm just trying to think if I have an answer for progenitus. No, I believe I'm just going to have to. Doc, what do you need me to do? I think he's going to kill me next turn. I think you just need to play a land so I can play a land. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to get to lands. Hold on. Because if you play a land, I've got 16 on the air on him. Now, I think he's got us, actually, because that's still going to be another turn for me to get Avacyn out. I still can't block. I don't think I've got... Even if, even if I did draw, I've got a mass exile card in here, but even if I draw it. Well, uh, yeah, but if, if it's not a creature it. spell, it fizzles. It yeah, that's birds. the problem. Yeah, Dove, Dovescape, is, Dove, Dovescape has, me, has me hamstrung on that. Dovescape rolls. Uh, uh, Beavis, I, I think you screwed us a little bit. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> damn it! Ah, damn it! Damn it! Son of a bitch! <laughs> son of a bitch! Beavis, you uh, mess. I'm trying to think of if there's a way for me to get cards into my hand, but I need to have more than three cards in my hand for this stupid bird that does dumb things to stop being dumb. Yeah, let's see, four, five. Well, at least what I got that? to play Lyra Dawnbringer. She's pretty. Right. Okay, I mean, this is, this is going to be a Hail Mary pass to try to get a land for you, Doc. Okay? Sure. I, we're dead anyway, because even if I play it, he's, it so he's going to kill me next turn. Because I've got lethal on him if I can get Avison out and then get to my next turn, but he's still got us. All right, I appreciate that. That's in my deck, too. No, I mean, it makes four doves. Oh. <laughs> it's a non-creature spell. It makes four blue, white, blue birds. So, yeah, dovescape. Woo! And so... I mean, I think you can then... So, but those four are one ones, but they're now three threes, right? Uh, they're three threes, yeah. But I'm yeah. I'm trying to get you a land, brother. Hold on. That's but that's twelve right there, and then your commander is how much? Uh, four four, four four. So then, you've got you've got lethal on him through the air if he doesn't kill you next. Well, turn. stop trying to convince him to kill me. If we just no, kept quiet just, about it, he's not I'm smart. I'm just pointing it out that if you can somehow. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna play Sawtooth Loon. Uh, I don't. It was a bird. Um, so this is my Hail Mary. When Sawtooth Loon comes into play, return a white or blue creature you control to its owner hand. I'll do that with one of these birds. And then it also says, uh, when Sawtooth Loon comes into play, draw two cards and put two cards from your hand on the bottom of your library. So I'm trying to get you a land here, Doc. This is the only way I could do it. So I draw two. All right. That's all I can do. And then I have to empty my hand and put the final two cards on the bottom of my library. I have no cards in hand. That is it. Passes to Doc. Hopefully somebody could stop Progenitus. If not, you, you pass to him and then I think he kills both of us. Oh, does he? <laughs> so he, if he kills me this turn, uh, you got him next turn. Well, at least I got a blocker for Mirror Entity. What do we do? What do we do? All right, so I gotta pay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So each of my creatures is now an eleven, eleven. I will send progenitus. At Doc, I will send Mirror Entity. You know what? I'll just go ahead and pay the rest into it. Five, five. So each... <laughs> Wait, one, two, six. Seven. Eight, and Progenitus is 1919. <laughs> Doc is dead. Doc is way dead. Ah. Oh. Well, it wouldn't have worked anyway. 
I will probably still die, but hail Hydra. Are you tapped out? I'm tapped out. I got nothing. Hail Hydra. What, what were you all in, Doc? Uh, what was coming next? And you're not going to show it because you're playing this damn deck again, aren't you? I mean, I'm going to. Oh, I'm sorry. Each of my creatures yeah. gets plus one. Each of my creatures gets plus one, plus one. So last turn, Doc actually took 11 damage. So that <laughs> did more, but it does, it's more. Anyway, my mirror entity is actually a 2020, but it doesn't have pro anything. No. So are you going to block the 2020 with something? Who? Oh, you. Oh, you didn't say it was coming at me. It is coming. For yeah. Genesis and Doc, mirror entity is coming. I could just block it with a bird, right? Yep. And now you got lethal on him through the air. Wait a minute, hold on. I don't know why I want to block it with a bird. You're, you're doing 20 damage at me? Yeah. I'll still have 12 left over. You're at 16 life and tapped out? Yep. You're going to make me go through my turn, huh? Probably. I got nothing else to do. Uh, well. If I had anything else, I would have done it. I'm deciding whether or not to block. Hold on. Uh, no, I need all my birds. I guess I'll take 20. That's 20, right? I did one land short of killing one person in a turn. Yeah, I'm just doing 20. And I'm tapped out. Okay. I'll take the 20. I have to have all my birds, I think. I, I'm bad at math. Four. Yeah, you do. I think you got it. Let's yeah, you see. got nine. Draw. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Yeah, I'm swinging with just enough, I think. Four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm swinging for 17 in the air. Got me. Good game. Fist bump. Fist bump. All right. So uh, the, the card you were talking about, Mr. A, was <laughs> Manatai. It is a white counter spell. It has been in my hand the entire game. But what? Each of the top, well, hold on. Each of the top, this is what makes this card suck. Counter target spell, unless it's controller, pays one. Each time you guys have done something, you have all had one man open. extra hanging. And so I was not able to counter Dovescape or Progenitus because of that. I'm so sorry. And then my next one was a card I love the art on and really wanted to play, Hour of Revelation, which, you know, Destroy all non-land permanents, which is awesome when you've got, you know, your permanents are all indestructible. I only had two lands in my hand, so it wasn't like I had a lot of options. <laughs> there well, are... Apparently, my next card was Demonic Tutor, which would have been really great to cast. That would have been sweet. All right. So, we've got 40, we got 40 minutes left. I got nothing else but this. That's, That's all you had? That's all I had. I thought it was funny. Oh, hey, yeah, I, I know. I mean, you're talking about 